there are there are other ways to set automated related links. If um, if you tell your account manager, hey, I just don't have any time to um, set related links, then oh, we do have some other options that we can play around with there. Um, it's just everything that we've tested, the manual uh, related links, uh, just blow them away. I mean, better than the Google system, better than um, our uh, learning type system where related links are replaced with top clicked queries and top searched queries and things like that. All of those uh, tools we've used, and uh, the difference between that and manually set related links is still enormous. Uh, I think that's in particular because only a human can really determine, ah, this is what people are looking for on the site to give them a good comprehensive view. I mean, um, we have a lot of, of the parking companies use Google's related link suggestions, right? They make those suggestions. And um, sometimes uh, they suggest the most ridiculous things because they, semantical analysis is just never perfect. I, mean, I remember the example of Dogco UK was showing up with uh, dog ramps as Google's top suggested related links. I'm not exactly sure even what a dog ramp is, but I can't imagine there's that many advertisers bidding on dog ramps. Um, whereas if you have Dogco UK and ask anyone in the room to set some high paying, uh, good related links for that, uh, everyone can come up with things like pet supplies, maybe a few species of dogs, breeders, things like that. You're going to have a ton of competition for it. For it. it gives a so much better impression when you arrive at the page and there's a logical set of links there that uh, it reinforces that you found what you're looking for, basically. Yeah, I mean, we just added about two weeks uh, ago or three weeks ago, we um, we almost doubled the number of photos and added a lot more in there. Um, we will add another batch and just continue adding on a regular basis batches of photos. We want to um, do a quick fix on it um, right now so that um, uh, not all photos in the categories are rotated by default and instead pick, for example, three for example, three primary photos within each category that are rotated and then you can fill in every single niche and have a 20 different photos in the category for every niche without worrying about those niche photos being rotated across the overall group. So for example, if I have an auto category, I don't want to have the motorcycle photo rotated uh, across the, the cars. So um, that's what we're holding back upon now for adding more. We've, uh, of course, we've, we've looked at it, and um, our current top performing layout for most uh, domains is, is retro and uh, lean. So the, the really simple layout and um, the retro layout is the one with the graphical images and a few design elements and things like that. So overall, um, that means that um, it's certainly not hurting if retro is one of the highest um, paying ones. But you definitely can't say categorically that every single domain will be better when you add in photos. You definitely can't say that adding more photos will um, be better um, and more content and things like that. Um, in general, it, uh, so I, that's why the question is difficult to answer because the, the, the correct answer is that it depends on the type of domain. So that's why we want to be able to have the automatic system in place to be able to evaluate is this a domain that works well graphically or is it one that doesn't work well graphically. So if you look in, um, for example, the case studies we went through, we we've thought that kebab.com um, uh, was one where you'd want to have a picture of a restaurant or something like that on there, whereas um, something a little bit more technical, use car parts, you're looking maybe for a directory type uh, page, uh, page, and it is not as important. So um, the best thing to do now so is... Maybe it's a good idea to, to think that an impulse buy uh, will be better with a graphical element than a more uh, meditated uh, buy. Uh, I mean, that, that definitely could be uh, one way to look at it. I mean, um, what do the people expect to find on the site? I mean, will they be, um, are they looking for a, a directory or are they looking to go straight to some more detailed terms? Or are they looking for something that has more the, the feel of a destination site? And um, if, if it is a destination site that they're looking for, then the visual elements are important, definitely. Uh, of course, and it depends on how well targeted the visual elements are. So adding a, a completely irrelevant photo uh, it doesn't help. <laughs> what was the name? You said retro and ling? Retro and uh, or light, I, I think is what it's called. Uh, sorry, the, the, we've had so many internal and external names. L-I-T-E, -E. L -I -T -E, in fact. Uh, and retro is the other one. It's the one that... Uh, 
with the blue bars, and um, I can show you that. Uh, this guy is light, and retro is this is that one, the green one, uh, um, uh, green and purple with photos and visual elements. So I mean, the, the two of them, they kind of show the different philosophy there. This one, you, you just want to get straight to results. It's very simple. It loads quickly and um, uh, doesn't distract people from anything. Whereas this one works better when you want to give people a little bit more of the impression that they're landing on a destination site. Right. Um, do you mean A-B testing for um, evaluating layouts? Or, um, yeah, yeah, um, yes, definitely. I mean, that's that's what's one of our main projects right now. Is, is I mean, so it won't be A-B, it'll be A-N, basically, because you have N number of conf possible configurations, and it'll automatically determine which one is the best. So, uh, um, Ah, uh, so what that is is um, that means that uh, Google doesn't return an ad for that particular keyword. So there are various reasons why Google might not be um, returning an ad for that particular keyword. It might be that the keyword in that region or in whatever region you're um, testing it has no advertisers or at that particular time has no advertisers. Um, in some instances, that's an indication that um, Google has blocked the domain or has blocked the domain on that channel. Um, unfortunately, there's, we don't have perfect visibility into the Google system when they do block domains. So they'll block for trademark reasons. But they'll also block um, if they think that a domain is receiving too much spam traffic. For um, It could be bots. I mean, it's not necessarily malicious uh, behavior on your guys' part. It could be um, because it was expired previously, things like that. So um, one, that's another thing that we'll be looking to build into the system more is that um, uh, is to see exactly, um, be able to provide to you guys when a domain name has blocked, you have some visibility and you can say, okay, why has this been blocked? And if it's unjustified, we can dispute it at Google and we'll assist you in that. Um, but in the meantime, we go to those category portal pages because those are very strong keywords uh, in every region, and they're geotargeted, so it'll show up with appropriate language depending on the region, and um, and that way it's kind of a second chance at helping the user be able to find an appropriate keyword uh, when that first keyword didn't have an ad. Hmm. Um, I know that we are right now in the process of, of completely moving over to um, a, a new server setup. We basically outgrew our, um, our, our old provider and the, and the constraints to them, even though they're actually the world's largest web host. They just couldn't keep up with our growth. And, um, so under the new system, we should have uh, faster loading times um, on, on all things, not just on the images. And um, also more reliability as well, because uh, the, the old provider uh, would, would, from time to time, mess things up and um, be down in 15 minutes. And of course, we always compensate for things like that, but uh, that costs us money <laughs> as well. So um, uh, that should be something that's coming in place. Let's do one more question, and then, uh, then we can trade rooms. And uh, I'm happy to talk about these sorts of things later, or you can sit down with your account managers as well and get more details. Anyone? Want to do the last question? Uh, if you do a geo targeting of one domain and there are no actual advertisers for the for the region, like the, the, the German example, mm -hmm. will this uh, revert to like a general uh, uh, keyword? Uh, will, will it take the general keyword? Uh, it'll in that instance, it'll revert to one of the portal sites, and um, that would be geo targeted with the most. Uh, powerful keywords within that particular language. Um, does, does that make sense? So you, you definitely would have um, possible um, keywords there. Which rather than being specifically targeted to that, they would be broader um, category type keywords. But that way you're guaranteed to have something for, uh, for pretty much all languages.